Hello guys, I'm DailyFix and welcome to EVE Online. Now this has been something that's been on my mind for such a long time. And I kept pushing it forward. And I, I feel like this, this absolutely is the time to actually get going with this. Why? Because I need something that doesn't take me as much time, funny enough, as playing X4 Foundations. And it's still very space orientated. Um, this is not the first time that I'm going to be playing it. I played this game, I think, in 2007. I played for... I, I got my main quote-unquote character as uh, 54... Uh, million skill points. I don't know if that's a lot. It feels like it's two to three years. Maybe it's not that much. So, anyways, that's that's enough of the background. Let's go and create a character. Let's take a look at the Kaldari. So, with the Kaldari, I love the Heron. Uh, I think it's one of the best exploration ships, uh, and it's because I think it's like it has like a four mid slots. So it's one more than the others, but I could be wrong about that. Um, the Ama, I love the shiny, shiny uh, ships with the Galente. You know, the weapons are quite decent. Um, these are the hybrid, I think, the hybrid turrets. So they take ammo as well as a bit of your capacitor, if memory serves me correct. And you have the Ama and these rust buckets. They're quite cool. I do think they look fantastic. However, I kind of decide I want to go and play Amar because I like the shininess. Now, it doesn't matter what start you're going to be doing because, you know, you can basically fly any ship and you could switch sides or whatever. You can do anything with one character. It just sometimes costs you a bit more time. Uh, as for... Let's take a look. As for the... Uh, let's just go with this, dude. I don't know if my audio actually is working. It should be working, actually. Uh, maybe I should check that real quickly. Okay, it was definitely not working i do apologize luckily we call it uh, early on um character appearance does not matter at all it feels like i have some um some scars these are just the colors of my eyes that's fine let's just randomize this a bit no not, not like that <laughs> yep that's it that that's going to be me this, this is this is going to be the daily fix. The sculpting tool has done miracles. Uh, like the clothing, like I said, doesn't matter at all how you make it look. You can always change the appearance of your character. The one thing you cannot change the name. Uh, for me, it's going to be daily fix. Uh, this does not matter at all. So we just pick uh, military. Uh, yeah, let's pick military. Now there might be a cinematic. If there is, I'm going to let it play, but I am going to be skipping the tutorial uh, because I think it's uh, it's quite dull. Yeah, it is dull. It, it, you know, it's great they add one. Still not a huge fan of it. Let's end the game. New Eden, a universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid and seriously, can its many why do I have lag on the cinematic? It is that a thing that's like normal? Not sure. To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars. To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power. Okay, while well, this is playing on. So what do I want to do? Well, there is two career agents that I think are interesting to start with, and that is the exploration one. And that is, um, it's the PVE one. It's not the Soldier of Fortune. It's, um, I don't know. Um, we'll just see in a second when we actually launch uh, into the game. Because the tutorial is about to start. And uh, I don't care for it, like I said. Yeah, okay. This is great. Uh, skip tutorial. Yes, please. There's a few things that I do want to... Oh, of course, we have that lock. 
it's not doing it. Well, that's fine. There's a few things that I would like to turn off. Camera shake, camera bubbling. I get motion sickness very fast. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. As for the audio, the music is kind of nice. Speech is okay. Maybe I'll increase the, um, the music at some point. We'll just see. If things are too loud or too low, let me know. Um, so I can change it. Uh, we can go with quite a weapon sound, but I do think that is actually quite nice. Now, can we get the heck out of this tutorial, please? Return to the game. Okay, let's log off. Yeah, let's log off. Don't ask me again. Uh, we'll just log off. Claim that. It keeps playing. That's, that's the game it is, huh? Return to the game. Seriously, you will not let me log off. Ah, story of my life. Come on. Okay, it's cool. It's a cool video. I guess they worked harder on it and they just want to force it down your throat. That's fine by me. Now, of course, we're going to go all the way back to character creation. Okay, what's it going to do? Let the game think. Okay, so that was kind of awkward. <laughs> because uh, after waiting for like almost a minute, nothing happened. It's very likely uh, the audio level steam to go okay. Um, Zach under siege. Honestly, I've not looked into this at all, and I'm probably not going to at any time. So this is it. This is going to be our starting cuvette, which is you know see how shiny it is. It's bloody awesome. So with control shift, uh, you know control F9 can get rid of the hot. Uh, yeah, I love that ship, though. It's so cool. Uh, that is so nice. Uh, let's uh, hide chat because I don't care about it. And we are going to be going into the career program. The Enforcer. That is the one I was going for. So I'm going to potentially start with the Enforcer. And then go Exploration. Because this will give us a ship. And the explore, uh, Exploration will... They all give you ships, okay? I know, but... Uh, should I do it the other way around? Well, we could go wormhole stuff thing. Yeah. Dead spot. No, we'll go in Enforcer. Uh, skill plan that doesn't work for us. There's a thing that I do want to go and do. Uh, where's social? Social. Uh, don't have the social one. Mm, yeah, I do want to get that at some point. So we could get uh, some bonus experience, quote-unquote, from these guys. Um, there is another thing that could potentially be... Uh, let's put it on my skills, please. Uh, science. I'll quickly go and look for it. Uh, S yeah, scanning is quite interesting if we're going to do the route that I have been mentioning. Cybernetics is going to be cool because it will allow, allow us higher level implants. Gunnery is going to be extremely important. Energy, that's also important. Yeah, everything seems to be... I think it's one of the rewards uh, that we might be getting. Biology. Yeah, biology will allow you to increase the time... Uh, you get on certain boosters and they will actually give you a booster that will go like 48 hours. So I think if you have biology and I don't know if there is a secondary skill that would actually increase the time even further. But I think getting towards the second day reward would very much be beneficial to our progression. Now speaking of progression, I'm not really... I don't think I will have the uh, the video scheduled at the moment. I know that the early game is quite uh, easy and could, could go very fast. But still, uh, I need to build up a few videos. <sighs> I, I, I say though, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Anyways, uh, let's go to the agency missions. We'll go to career agents. And we'll jump towards the Enforcer set destination. That's on dock. Hopefully I can actually change some of these settings in here. 
Sometimes it won't let you when you have a new character. Uh, come on, where's all of the uh, the containers? Oh, apparently they don't have any of them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go. The game looks absolutely bloody amazing. It does absolutely look amazing, guys. Um, my opinion, of course, but still. I remember in 2007, I played this on an old-ass laptop and I could manage. Now, the last time I tried playing this game is like a year ago. And my laptop could not deal with that at all. So, visually and graphically, the game has become a lot uh, more difficult for laptops. I think that might have been, you know, it, it's great, it looks nice, but I think it will cost them a lot of um, people playing it. Uh, let's take and remove those. And jump towards the next gate. Unclaimed items. Yeah, for those of you wondering, uh, I do actually have the million skill points. Now, I'll think I might have a link in the description for mine. I'm not sure if I'm going to, actually. Because it's only beneficial if people actually buy, like, Omega. And I might include one in the future. I might not. Let me know. If you want some, just join the, uh, the, the Discord. I will provide you a link. Uh, but I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, no skills in trading is the dumbest thing I could have done. So, I think... Gunnery. Uh, well, let's go with this one because it's just an hour and small energy turrets is going to be very beneficial as well. So the one thing that I don't want to do is queue up like a million skills. Even though I know I might here and there miss a few uh, days of, of playing. It's, it's, it's fine. I'll manage, guys. I do. I promise. So, and anything... Reception and willpower. We might have to reskill our guy. Let's increase that and like so. Okay, save changes, yes, please. I have two more bonuses available. This this use this wasn't the thing back then. Just hover over and you see what is the main. Like perception, willpower. Uh what's the other one? There's a few good ones actually. Yeah, Perception Willpower in Spaceship Command, which is definitely something we want to get to free. I kind of want to get towards a cruiser as soon as possible. That means that we also need to get Destroyer up to free and then get Cruiser. Energy Grid Upgrades. It's actually Intelligence. Um... Let's wait with that then. Like, I might eventually just... Uh, how do you call it? Like, remap them in a position they all have the same benefits at them. Uh, I'm contemplating that for now. Anyways, let's dock up. Let's get towards the guy. Start our missioning. Now, what I'll do is... Yes, I, you have witnessed this traveling. Uh, if we're going to be doing missions... I'm not going to include traveling to sites. I think that's... Um, that's a way for me to actually make the video feel progressing a bit smoother. I will be recording only up to an hour. And that's that's no time at all. So if I don't know if you've seen a series by a YouTuber called um, Kate Play Games. He's doing a self-sufficient Steve. Uh, just YouTube that. Uh, search results will be phenomenal. That's an amazing series. That's a guy that's been playing for millions of years. And with that, I mean like 12 or 15, something in that region. And it's it's amazing. I've been really enjoying that series. But watching it a lot, I think he might be one of the guys that actually got me back into finding Eve interesting at, at all. Uh, anyways, let us go Enforcer. We'll get a uh, Gathering Pulse Laser. We get some uh, multi-frequency... That's great. Let's accept that. Uh, destination is already there. Let's close up. Undock. And I'll travel to the site. Although we only have one weapon for this mission. It's not ever. You can also uh, strip your Corvette. Destroy it. Ask for a new one. Scanner probes. I want to leave on. 
these guys don't mess with anything you know don't don't mess with anything anyone oh if i do actually end up doing things off camera and i get some air career program points for that i will not be getting them uh until we are actually together i can al always also show you um where is it again if i go history skills if i get some skills we can always showcase that i uh, just flew through that object nice looks cool though okay what is the range of this pitiful weapon uh three six all right, three, six, Freddy, and keeping a range. I'll probably do a bit higher than that, like four. And I'm going to be keeping him at range. Set the afterburner on. There's no reason to start shooting yet because it's like 15 kilometers out. Even if we get the charges, be somewhat conservative with your ammunition. I think the charges that we'll gain last for about like. 4,000 4, cycles? So yeah. Yeah, I think that's way better. Okay, so currently when keeping at range, uh, when he moves forward, we'll start moving. Uh, with the orbiting, we'll start moving around. And some sides, there's a lot of enemies. And orbiting, orbiting uh, one particular enemy might trigger all of them. And that is something that is not always the right course of action. So even though we're sitting still right now, we can't hit him because he was, you know, being blocked by that. Uh, we will be doing right now, so we should see the armor damage increase. Wow, my tracking is shit. Absolutely horrible. Let's go towards him. I might just have to do the orbiting then. Wait, when we stopped? Wait, are we not stable? No, we are stable. Why did I stop shooting? That's stupid. I think it might have happened when I was in the menu. Maybe I pressed... Yeah, I think I pressed escape. Yeah, that's my bad. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? Uh, target. Where the hell is that uh, package? Zoom out a bit. You. Go, and I want to... Let's add it in here. There you go. That actually took me a lot longer than I hoped for. Uh, cool. I don't know what it does because I've not been playing long enough to actually know that. Uh, these guys will actually do the same. Add them to target. Uh, this way... It's a heck of a lot easier. Let's remove you. Uh, let's start setting up uh, the hut over here. Now, um, chat channels. Sure, all of the chat channels. I will add some new ones in the future. Um, actually, there's one channel that I want to add. And it's a daily fix. This way, we can still communicate without actually needing to be in the same corporation. Even though I will be eventually having a corporation. As for local and all of that stuff, we'll have to keep it. Uh, scanners, probe scanners, we need that in a second. Let's add you over here. And lock you up. Then also there is the other one, the other feature, which is the directional scanner. Which we, if we ever ever going to be going into a low sec, then we definitely want to have that constantly running, even if we are heading towards the uh wormhole space put the range down something like that okay there's some actually some wrecks in here wait that those, those are not my wrecks <laughs> cool. all right let's go because i am not paying attention uh pressing l will open up this window and i think this is one of the best windows you can have might actually increase this but um if we ever get locations inside certain systems that we want to save, say we want to do salvaging, 
having locations is quite good. You know, because the um, the site will actually despawn the second you're done. Uh, you go there. Scrap metal. Okay, 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 fine. Uh, we can actually add you over there. So probe, directional, inventory. Eventually, the directional scanner is going to be in a different location, but for now, it will be fine over there. Uh, once we gain like 50,000, uh, we are going to be buying the armor repair. If you're going to the skill plans, the very first, the book that they want you to get is the repair systems. And it actually is good. Uh, why is it good? That would actually be beneficial, right? Uh, the reason for it, it has a 5% reduction towards the repair system duration. Uh, I think the cycles of the... The hull repairer is going to be less. Yeah, a 5% reduction in repair system duration. I'm going to assume that is the cycles. If I'm wrong, <laughs> I'm wrong. Don't shoot the messenger. Just correct me if I say stuff that's not correct. Because I, I want to learn as well. And you guys, you, you are my, my beacon. It sounds so cheesy, I know. Alright, that's it. Let's dock. There's nothing in here anymore. Let's go to general. Anything I want to get removed from the overview. Yeah, remove wrecks from the general. So, target is going to be targets. And wrecks can be targets as well. Uh, mining, warp 2, uh, and, and, and basically everything. Don't want that on. Orbit camera. Yeah, it's the best kind of camera. Oh, yes! There you go. That was such a nice view. I love that. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I am the I'll, I'll be making a lot of pictures because I really enjoy doing that. I'm a I'm a picture junkie. Uh, this is just going to be drop off over there, set destination, and then set waypoint. I believe that works like that. Or is it the other way around? Let's accept that first then. Okay, now it has that. Yeah, I'm sure it will work at some point. And we'll actually be getting an executioner from that. Uh, first things first, let us go into fitting. Where's my inventory? Yes, yeah, my inventory. I want this to be over here. And then the ship hanger may go over here. Lock up. Icons. Now, we did actually get a new weapon. Let us remove him. And actually him because he's useless. Um, we're going to be trashing that. Gathering pulse laser is going to be in. Uh, load that up. Get into... And this, I'm going to save it for when we do the mining missions. Otherwise, you know, it's probably going to be horrible. Uh, let's unlock. And we're going to be picking up and then going back. All right, let's target them up. Uh, I was changing the settings on my fonts. Uh, what's the distance on this one? So this is actually less. Uh, two kilometers, 310. We definitely want to change that. Actually, that's the wrong target. No, so three, something like that, I believe. Alright, he did drop something. Now, and usually it's going to be scrap. Uh, but I'm still going to be taking them. Uh, once we start doing missions or combat sites, I do want to save the locations. Uh, I do want to get myself a bit of a salvaging ship. Okay, open up this package. Yes, again. 
Actually, we just go towards them. Uh, keep at range, I think, would be, uh, again, the better option. Uh, we're now keeping at range at three kilometers. Yeah, very easy missions. I'm not sure if I want to uh, start using the Executioner. I don't think it's that good of a ship. I think it's more like... it Wasn't it a... An E-War thing? There's the civilians. Uh, let's take... Uh, that's fittings, actually. We need this one. Ship tree. Uh, oh, no. It's this one. Um, it has propulsion, Gemin. Still, uh, I'll take back what I said. Uh, small energy turrets get a reduction in its activation cost of 10%, as well as a 5% damage in its uh, uh, bonus damage, which is a lot better than my uh, silly old Corvette. Although it does give me 10%. Ooh, okay, maybe this Corvette is not so stupid after all. Uh, I'll just hold on to it then. Okay, give me money. Uh, okay, we actually got money. Request a mission. Uh, and now we need... Uh, repair skills. Systems. Cheapest is... Quite some distance away. Um, these are all NPC prizes. It's actually a shame. There's actually... Are there actually non... Yes, they are. Look at them. Why would you try selling this at 50,000 when an NPC is selling it for 45? It will never run out. So, yeah. Basically, you just waste it. You wasted time. I don't get that. Um, I want you to train to one right now. Yes, do that. And this will grant us two more lasers. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is... Uh, we've got two Weber drones coming in. I want to take care of them first. Because they're going to be annoying. There's the other one. He's not there yet. He is yellow boxing me though. Let's go. Uh, hopefully I can take him before the others arrive. Time to go. I do not want to fight all of these. So we actually get some money as well as some career points which fill up this bar. And every time we hit like one of these icons we will get some skill points. So this one will give us 50,000, uh, 75, 100 and 225,000. Even if I get them, I'm not sure if I want to use them right now. Because I know that alpha characters actually have an X amount of skill points they can reach. And I think it's like 5 months before it will reach that. I believe it's like 5 million. It could be. Like I said, correct me if I am wrong. Uh, I think from now on we might want to go to the Executioner because I can actually fit uh, free weapons on there, I believe. Yeah, free. So, yeah, now is it absolutely going to be the best time to do so. There are the weapons in there. Uh, fitting. The weapon. That can go to... And now we will assemble um, daily. Put it in there. And we're going to be trashing this. We can always request a new Corvette. If uh, things really go the wrong direction. Gathering pulse. We can group them up. complaining because I used a tiny bit of the other one. 
That's why it's complaining. You go there. Uh, what does this do? Sensor boost. Uh, given increased targeting range, scan resolution, sensoring strength. Yeah, that's not interesting for us at all. Let's go. Okay, repair systems is going to be on one. Uh, let's just uh, add you after surgical strike. Once that is done, uh, you'll get uh, larger skills, like larger uh, scaling plans. Like in the enforcer, you can go enforcer, mission runner, and stuff like that. Um... A more frigate, energy upgrades. Oh, they're actually not bad. These I'll potentially just apply to one of these um, skills. And if we get social, we'll start doing that. Or oh, biology. Oh, I was not undocking. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at this ship while it is moving out. It actually does look quite nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, what's not to like, right? Uh, warp to side, let's go. This used to be... Back in the past, that was just blue lines. Going like all out of the screen. Definitely improved. A lot. Smuggler Stargate. Oh, is that a... Okay, continue. Okay, so this is... Just go there and get the heck out. I need to add... These sort of things. To my targets. But sometimes these are actually targets. Uh, it would be such a shame. If I. You know. Missed. Out on that. Uh, Beacons is still there. Beacons could actually be. Abandoned research project. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And now it tells me to get the heck out. Yeah, let's go. Because we should be getting damage. Yeah, there we go. In local, it actually tells you that uh, your mission is complete. Report back. I think if you stay in there longer, sometimes the missions do give you some, like, information. Fit that to the ship. Fit. Um, similar. Oh, okay, so 983. That's definitely faster than the previous one. Uh, trash that. As well as the put that on. Because why not? So we're actually uh, getting a increase in the EM. If we put that on to the shields. To the shields. Are we a shield ship? I thought we were an armor ship. Yeah, we're an armor ship. So giving me a shield module. Okay, I guess. What we could do. Let's go in here. And just add these. Like, the Amar Frigate 3 is already there, so that won't do. Energy grid definitely is good. Okay, how much? Oh, that's one day. Uh, motion production, rapid fire. You know, they're all quite good. Let's add them. There we go. Uh, five days. Five days. I will just go not over a maximum of a week. And at least... 
at least it should have me playing and like i said I'm, I'm not sure if i'll schedule it um because the x4 videos do take me a lot of time to actually do them uh small automated structural restoration so this is for your hull then still i guess it's fine I will most likely remove. Once we gain uh, something that will repair our armor, that shield thing is gone. Oh, actually, this gives me the social skill. Okay, cool. Um, we are actually going to be claiming all of that then. Um, it is going to be in here. And with the exception of the 1 million skill points, I'm going to redeem all of that. Because I don't want to use this. Uh, and I don't want to be tempted in actually using it. Uh, inject skill. Get in here. Category. Uh, social. There you go. How long does that? The 20 minutes. Yeah, that would justify that. 1 hour 30. Put you over there. And social free. 8 hours. Damn. There you go. 8 hours. After energy turrets free. Good. Done. Start conversation. Give me money. And I thought we already got that. But apparently not. And there we is. It's the very first of our cybernetic implants. It will give us a tiny bit more points. See what they decided to be a nice target. Put that on. Keep it range. This is too far away. Why did I actually quit? Oh, that's nice. A compact uh, afterburner. Why did I quit uh, EVE Online like 12 years ago? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, if it's interesting or not. But I'm going for it anyways. I... I joined a corporation that was in league with the Goon Swarm. Uh, I participated in one of the Jida burn events. I think it was one of the first one. Not sure anymore. But we we held, we actually wrecked the place. But there were constant wars going on, and the amount of time that we were on like quote unquote mission, it was exceptionally long, and I had no clue what the heck I was doing. I'll be honest about that. I did have no clue what I was doing. So, yeah, they kind of sucked the fun out of it for me. And I'm going to be keeping orbiting because I see that we're actually getting a lot of damage. Uh, so, and eventually, yeah, it, it actually led to that point where I just, I didn't care. These guys are up close, damn. Start with these gun. You. 12 hostiles remaining. So that's um, what I've done in EVE is uh, a lot of the uh, the mining, PvE sort of stuff. I uh, actually had a good time doing it. Yeah, and sometimes if you don't rotate what you're doing, you might end up being bored. And I was bored. And I stopped playing the game. If not, then my main character would have been... I'm just going to say like triple digits in the millions. Let's see how far close we can get to this guy. Let's just, um, let's turn it on. See if we get a lucky hit. And uh, we get infrared. 
It has a increased optimal range, but it does suck my capacitor dry a bit faster. And it's just a one, but I'm going to be keeping it, nevertheless. Okay, activation gate go. Cargo scanner. Okay. That could be very handy uh, when doing sites. Although this does say... Scans a cargo hold of another ship. So I don't know if that includes the regular cargo scanner. I think it might just do that. That it does include the, uh, the, com uh, the sites uh, when you do... Um, how do you call them again? Um, archaeological sites and data vaults. Actually, we got two decent... Uh, three decent things. Like the weapon. Could be nice. Cannot load it in because I need three of them. Still. Uh, we need to blow up the outpost. Start uh, targeting then. There will definitely be hostiles. Let's uh, let's shoot it once and that should trigger them. Yeah, there we go. We can just focus on this. It goes down relatively fast. I look, ah, I like it. Well, fall off. Like I said, I I really am going to be enjoying. Playing this game again. And that's now it's handy why we actually got the outpost on the overlay. Otherwise, you'll click this, target it, no harm done. Uh, I don't even care about these two. If this goes down, we're out. Yeah, I think I with this mission, uh that's that's going to be it for now, even though we're not there yet. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I think that the remaining emissions, as well as the combat exploration stuff, uh, would make another episode. And then we can slowly get towards um, a cruiser. I think one of the daily logins actually is another. Skill is one of 15. Can I... Yeah, destroy it, book. Day, day nine? No way! <laughs> oh, that's uh, a little bit too late. What's kind of a destroyer? No, oh, we'll see it when we get it. Ah, uh, we'll have plenty other ships. Okay, during some uh, some time off, I actually trained Social 1, Surgical Strike 1, and Repair Systems 2. So, let's quickly just... Um, Get the next mission. We'll be granting a small armor repairer. Uh, which... Am I actually able to use it right now? I'm going to assume that I... Yeah, I am. Actually, uh, with repair systems 1. So, actually, repair systems... Definitely going to be a good investment. Especially if you are a... Um... Uh, if you are a armor dude, I'm not going to be using that. So it's either going to be the afterburner. Uh, uh, man, the pleats in one. That is scary fast. I don't like that. Uh, still have this junk with me. We could actually use uh, max velocity 8, 9, 3. Uh, over a thousand... It does actually the same. So, yeah, definitely want to be using that. Get this to my item hanger. Uh, select all, repackage all, stack it. There we go. Uh, undock. And once that actually happens, I'll see you guys at the missions objective. Okay. Let's go forward. Target these two guys. Click next. I... I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm not too interested in what they have to say. And let's just shoot them.
Okay, so final target so far. Uh, I had some cap issues. Had to turn off my uh, small armor repair. It's really cap heavy. There are definitely skills to improve that. And let's go dock up. Uh, in order to do so, if you show info on attribute, no effort, let's see, where are you? Um, it's another one. Uh, which one is it again? Based on power grid, there is a skill that reduces it, and I cannot for the life of me actually memorize which one it was. Uh, armor. That's structural hit points. Docking request accepted. That's also not it. Maybe let's take a look at all skills. What do we have? Okay, so it's definitely not in here. Engineering then. I thought there was one. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought there was absolutely a skill that uh, did that. Now, I also finished a reward over here. Uh, which gives us half a million. And there are a few active for reaching... I think like... Yeah, if we do 7 out of 10, we'll get one, I guess. Sure. Let's start that conversation. Did we just get another... No, it's more a standing increase. It's fine. Uh, this will grant us a overdrive injector. Okay. Uh, do we fit them? Okay, so after eyeballing the overdrive injectors, I'm not going to be using them. They are barely worth it. Uh, did I get the new quest? Yes, I did. Let's quickly go. Okay. It kind of helps if you actually unequip them. In, uh... In the actual fit. I'm not going to be staying around. I'm not going to be killing these guys. We don't have to. Time to actually go. Let's turn on the uh, repair. Because we're actually working, getting damage. There was a cloud around that uh, compound. Okay. Let's start. Get the money. Quest mission. We'll get a Weber. Do we actually have it right now? Of course we don't. Let's remove... Um, well, you know what? What's going on over there? Capacitor emission systems. Cargo holds. Oh, it's in my cargo hold. Yeah. Load a bunch of crap. Do we? I got seven unclaimed rewards. Uh, this will give me connections, which is a very handy skill that definitely comes after social. And this gives me a small enduring armor repair. Really good. I should have done that ASAP, but I didn't. Uh, we'll collect them as soon as we dock up because connections will help us gaining more standings with agents running missions. Uh, actually, no, it, it, I guess it gives you somewhat of a baseline. Can I... Not that one, go away. Connections, info. Uh, plus 4% modifier to effective standing. So it is an effective standing. If we have standing, it will just give you a flat out 4% bonus. That's good. Now, why are we such a long way away from that? It makes no sense. Okay, narcotics warehouse is the target. It would definitely make short work of that. Uh, this this change? No, it did not. I'm being attacked by something. Ah, there we go. These are not on my radar yet. Add that. I'm going to be shooting that and just orbiting. I don't need to kill it. I don't need to kill it. That's um, fine and simple. All these explosions going around. 
It is cool though. Come on, blow up. There we go. Let's get the heck out of here. These didn't hit me at all, which uh, I kind of like. Uh, means our velocity is quite good in this uh, little contraption. I think we should be actually getting another ship real soon. I think it's a... Is it the Punisher? Docking permission yeah, Punisher. Docking it's really cool. It's, it's a good ship. I like it. We definitely have to equip that. Request the mission. This 10 out of 10. There we go. We will grant it a Punisher if you accept the mission. Heck yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's strip. Strip fitting. Nothing in my cargo. That's good. Uh, repackage. I did tell you to strip, right? Yeah. Sometimes I'm derping like crazy. Uh, the Punisher. There we go, the Punisher. Ah, uh, capital letters. Come on, man. Come on. I'm sorry. It's uh, If I get tired, I start to be stupid. Now I can repackage that. Don't need to use that ever again. Fitting. From over here, I want to use the small enduring. So, also, we're going to be injecting that. Small enduring. Stasis. We are going to be needing the compact overdrive. Weapons. Three of them, that is fine. Uh, 126, that's not bad. We can actually give him the overdrive injectors. We cannot use that because that's useless. Anything in here that would help? No. Not really. Uh, let's just get the weapons in the, the guns, the ammo. And let's go in this cool ass Punisher. Final mission for this uh, agent. And that will also be include of excluding or including. Um, concluding. Yes, completely different word. Concluding the um, very first episode of my EVE Online playthrough. Uh, expect a lot of mistakes from my end. And I do expect a lot of answers from you guys. Because you guys are... My, uh, I set the beacon earlier on, but it's still my encyclopedia would sound less cheesy, I guess. Kill all of them, and apparently, I oh know there's no way we can do more, more than four. So we can run the afterburner without any issues. The second we use the armor repair, it is going to be causing issues. But I think we're too fast. And that is definitely a problem. Already we're sitting on 3.6 million. This tutorial does give away quite a bit of money. Um, I think by the end of the tutorials, if you do all of them, you should be sitting at enough money to get yourself a cruiser. And if you run combat sites, then it could be very much uh, worth your while.
I'll do my best to keep, um, because I'm speeding up the attacks, to at least focus on the one that I'm shooting at. Uh, but it's going to be trial and error. Let me know what you think about that. Maybe you'll just like, you know, I'll cut out the uh, tutorial bits uh, and bobs and, you know, it will be fine that way. It is the stasis tower we need to hit. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be um, killing his pots. Why not? Absolutely insane explosion. Does not do any damage towards us. Well, that's fine. Is he abs Is he doing any kind of velocity? I can't see. go he is not having velocity so webbing him is not going to be helping let's turn in this mission three jumps i'll meet you there okay let us uh wait we, we oh no we already got that one it's like hey we're getting another one no we do not so with that the uh the very first of the um storyline Career agents has been uh, has been done, which is great. Uh, let's quickly get all of these. I don't really care for the enforcement. Uh, maybe maybe at another date. There's no uh, cooldown on that or countdown, which is uh, fine. We're sitting on four point, almost four point two million. Um, and yeah, let me know, guys. Uh, what do you think of the very first episode? Uh, what do you think of how I uh, edited it? Because I'm speeding up the battles times five. If uh, if that's too much or you're just like, yeah, you know, you might as well just remove them completely because they're tutorial. Then uh, let me know and I will definitely... Um, do that. Uh, next time, I will have a lot of these skills trained. I quickly added connections to the fray five days 10 hours we'll see how far i can actually get before recording the second part which will going into the exploration uh, agent and then hopefully do a few combat sites at least the level ones because they're for frigates the level two is destroyer three is cruiser four is i think like still cruiser times uh, slash battle cruiser five Battlecruiser and I think like um, Battleship, I don't know for sure. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.